G Y N. And today I'm going to talk about Trico Monas Vaginitis. Okay, and this is a very important topic for USML is step to CK and a step three. So I, and even important for clinical examination, for important for medical students. Okay, so this kind of important uh, information. So, but here I'm going to talk very briefly important uh, related to USML examination. So, guys, remember the important point over here for trichomonas vaginitis is uh, this is the most common cause of vaginal complaint worldwide. Okay. And remember, it's the second most common cause for sexually transmitted disease in United States. Okay, so what's the shape of this is nothing but it's a flagellated pear shaped. You can Google the images of this pear shaped protozoan. Okay. And it can reside, it can reside in the male seminal fluid. Remember, male seminal fluid can be seen in this, okay? Right? So let's move on to the, what you call uh, the symptoms, okay? The symptoms here in this patient, the most common patient complaints of itching. Itching. What was the most common complaint in a bacterial vaginosis? It was fishy odor, right? Here, itching, burning, and a pain with intercourse. Burning and a pain with intercourse. Okay, very important. In your assembly, they can give you the patient complaints of pain during intercourse, she has a itching, okay? So try to remember. But there should be some other points that will help you to diagnose this disease. That's nothing but speculum examination. The vaginal discharge is typically frothy, frothy and green. Remember the color, very important, though it looks strawberry. Will tell you the vaginal epithelium is frequently edematous and inflamed. Okay, where you do in bacterial vaginosis, you don't see any signs of inflammation. Okay, the edematous cervix may demonstrate characteristics known as a straw berry, strawberry appearance. Okay, remember. And the vaginal pH, what's the normal vaginal pH? It's less than 4.5. Here it's more than 5. Okay. So the strawberry appearance is because of the edematous cervix, not the vagina. Remember, it's edematous cervix. Okay. This can be asked in your smelling. Edematous, edematous cervix. Okay. Wet mount. The microscopic examination reveals active trichomonads on saline preparation, okay? And this is an infection, so you can see WBCs. White blood cells can be seen. Now the important part is what is a triad for this? What is the triad for this? Tell me now you, the important. The important triad for USMLE you should look for is one is the patient complaining of itching, burning, pain. That's really very important. Okay. And the vaginal pH is more than 5. And the strawberry appearance of the cervix are the three important points that you should look for. Okay. Now, what's the management? How do you manage that? The management is nothing but oral metronidazole for both the patients and for sexual partner. In bacterial vaginosis, we give only treatment to the what you call a patient rather than the partner. Why? Because it's not an infection. It's not a sexually. It's not a sexually transmitted disease. That's why. Okay. But this is a sexually transmitted disease. The male can be affected. So it's better to give uh, what you call um, metronidazole for both the patient and for sexual partner. So oral metronidazole. 
for both patient and partner sexual partner and pay okay and sexual partner and patient yes p sexual partner and patient okay pt like right so remember this is very important because in usma they will, definitely they will ask you so they will tell you that she is prescribed to oral uh, what you call uh, metronidazole and which of the following would be the next best step it's better to give oral metronidazole to metronidazole to pay a partner okay right vaginal metronidazole gel uh, though it can be used but the failure rate is really very high with the vaginal metronidazole but this vaginal metronidazole can be used in a bacterial vaginosis and it has good results okay and as we know very well even if she is a pregnant she has developed the trichomonasis vaginalis vaginitis and you can prescribe oral metronidazole because it's safe during the pregnancy right as we discussed before in a bacterial vaginosis so this is about the brief description of what uh, uh, what do you call um, trichomonas uh, vaginitis thank you so much for watching this video take care